Hello, I'm Kyung Min Jin, the author of this paper. The paper we are going to present is Kinematic Aware Hierarchical Attention Network for Human Pose Estimation in Videos. Our goal is to mitigate the pose jitter of the estimated pose and improve accuracy, which is refined poses through temporary information. We point out that existing methods do not simultaneously address jitter and occlusion problems. For example, the spatial features are not fully considered, but the temporal features are fully taken into account to mitigate jitter. Or, there is a memory issue since the usage of high resolution image based on heat maps to address occlusion means that the features of consecutive features within a long slide window is not considered at all. In order to address these problems, we directly deal with the temporary information by considering the kinematic features and allow it to be robust in a situation where occlusion occurred in a specific frame within a sliding window. We consider three kinematic features which are key point flow, then velocity, and acceleration. First, we compute the flow as a weighted sum of key point coordinates from current key previous and next frames. It is then hierarchically encoded as temporal features of body motion. The velocity and acceleration from consecutive key point coordinates are considered as a supplement query and key of the decoder. The hierarchical encoder creates positional offset per encoder layer by increasing the number of channels hierarchically so that we can fully consider temporal features while considering spatial information. Long range and short range attention map models the distribution of large and small body movements respectively and re resolve occlusion of key points, spatially within a frame or temporally specific frame in a video. The attention map are then projected to positional offset and added to the input pose to refine them. After we obtaining the value from the refined input pose, the decoder process the velocity, acceleration, and positional offset to learn the refined input poses as value and generate finer poses. Finally, uh, no matter how well we encode temporal information, if the input pose is incorrect, the results may not be good. Therefore, we propose online mutual learning to joint optimize the final poses of decoder and the refined input pose from encoder. Consequently, refined input pose, which is decoder's input, becomes accurate, and the final pose can be well estimated. Now for the experiment part, there are a total of 6 datasets that we have been experimented with. First, this slide shows 2D pose estimation experiment results. Additionally, this slide shows the experiment results on 3D pose estimation and body mass recovery. As we have shown, we have addressed the occlusion while effectively mitigating jitter. Uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please contact us via the email above.